Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna pit three cycling kits all made here in Cebu. These are Urban Atletica, Salt plus Fin, and then we have Velo 7 Cartel. So it's really an exciting time to be a Cebuana right now because I feel like Cebu makes the best kits here in the country right now. Because uh, the brands that are based in Manila, they basically have their kits made in China or anywhere else. We have two of these made here in Cebu uh, and one is uh, made in Taiwan so we're gonna compare them side by side by side and um, without bias I'm gonna tell you which is the best. So now you've seen a glance of these kits. This one I'm wearing from Urban Atletica. The blue one is from Salt Plus Fin and then the green, olive green one is from uh, Velo7 Cartel. So now that you've had a glance of them, in the next few days I'm gonna be wearing them and I'm gonna be testing them under the heat and maybe in the rain, maybe not. But uh, I'm gonna test out which is more comfortable, which is which feels better on the skin and which is generally just a better kit at first wear they all feel amazing and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know which I prefer the most and uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you out which one you will choose in your next buy so uh, I don't know if you can hear but my husky is crying but yeah day one of the uh, field test of the the, the, the kits um, um as you can see it is raining so i'm wearing the team three of me jersey because uh, this is the thickest and um, not saying that this is warm but out of the three this is the thickest cloth so uh, this might be the most comfortable in the rain and um let's go all right not entirely a great uh, weather to do a new kit day it is raining look at my shoes it is what it is uh, we're climbing BGMP and then Tapul so uh, if you've if you've seen on my Instagram yesterday the road is already completely paved all the way up to Tapul so we're doing that climb again and uh, I'll give you some feedback on the salt plus pin jersey so far it's good all right forgive me if you can see my brain through my nostrils uh, we're currently climbing 15% grade it's not exactly easy to vlog but the rain has stopped the sun hasn't come up yet the jersey is comfortable it's getting a little warm but that's expected if you're climbing this slow you're riding around 8 kilometers per hour so there's little breeze to none but we're almost at the top of BGMP of Totapul Mayan good morning dia boss <laughs> Mayan good morning Right now it's comfortably warm. Well, uh, even if it's raining here in the Philippines, so it's humid. It's gonna be a little warm no matter what if you're trying to put in some effort. But overall, it feels really, really good. Wow, we're turning into headwind and everything is cold again. But the last time I was here, I pretty much bonked. Uh, wait a second. Just... My buntag, pauan mo. Yeah, so as I was saying, the last time I was here, I pretty much bonked and then nangutang ko bukayo kilits dan balik trainta. So kung pangitaon sa manong karon ug naapa ba? Atay na katong nindag bukayo nangka na sa di muli giaron makautang na sa dagahat ani. Boss. 
balik ke gua. <laughs> ah, ah maka utang sebalik ni moni nanam sinangka non. Train tah. Oh, na bayaran tung putung. Sasa jadi tu nya lain. Karena meluun ya kah? Meluun. <laughs> balik pun tak ko dayun atau nyani uan semua. Nah. <laughs> Bayut lah. Bayut lah. Bayut lah. Bayut lah. <laughs> So, you can see in the Garmin right now, it's 70%. Somebody's walking. So, you can see in the Garmin right now, it's 70%. Somebody's walking. Come on, come on. You're going to be Good morning, that was. You're going to be here. You're Currently it's twenty percent. Twenty percent. Look. Na apa dia ida gan? Oh my god! If I'm going to be honest, the GoPro will make it look like that it's not very steep. The gradient that's like this is gonna be like this a little bit. But trust me on this one. It's hard, but the jersey, even though I'm riding at 3.3 kilometers per hour, still cool. Well, thanks to the weather as well. But the fit is great, and uh, you know it doesn't restrict my restrict my breathing, so that's great. And I'm feeling comfortably warm, which is a good thing. Kabir, pa, pa, ikaw, ano? There's that dreaded hairpin again. I hope the GoPro can do justice to how steep that really is. <laughs> so uh, this is where the road ends. Look. I've been told that they are gonna concrete this road until up to Kampinsa. So, good news to the roadies, bad news for the mountain bikers. This is 2.2k um, from the base of Tapul, and uh, we're at uh, around 8 kilometers from uh, McDonald's in Talisay. Uh, look at the view. Dong, kita main tik basun ke dalam maksud kundang. Tapi nak imo ku tik basun ke dalam ke sundang itu dulu aku ha. Alright, I'm going downhill. It's a little bit cold, nah, because it's drizzling. Overall, the jersey feels really, really nice on the skin. As I've said earlier, out of the three, this one fits the best. You know, that's a personal preference. I find the Velo 7 Cartel a little bit too long and I found the Urban Atletica a little bit too delicate. So yeah, kudos to Nino Obarquez and the rest of Team 3 of me. Great piece of kit. Thanks for sending this one. Alright, so it's uh, almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It, uh, it has been raining all morning and uh, we're getting a little bit of sunlight right now. Um, it's a little humid and by a little humid in the Philippines that's really really warm. So I'm wearing the Velo 7 Cartel. So uh, I feel this jersey is the most breathable jersey out of the three. Um, so let's go check it for a ride. First impression on the Velo 7 Cartel or Velo 7 Cartel. Um, at first, at first wear, it's a little difficult to put on. Um, the Italian band is sticks to your skin, so it's difficult to put the sleeves on. Uh, the material itself 
uh, it doesn't feel as plush or as premium as uh, Salt Plus Fin and Urban Athletica. It isn't, uh, as you can see, the, the, the textile or the material is a little abrasive to the skin. Uh, it's made out of like something you would expect from a base layer. So it's a little sharp. Yeah. But once you get moving, you will automatically feel that um, this jersey is for climbing because uh, you'll feel breezier. It catches the breeze a little bit better than the other jerseys. And also it wicks moisture a little bit better. But this is something I wouldn't wear on a very long ride in the sun because uh, I will definitely get a bad sunburn at the back and a tattoo worth the hurt. I will get a tattoo worth the hurt at my back with the sunburn marks. But this jersey is made for climbing and if you're climbing, this is the jersey to go for. Very, very breezy. So uh, you'll get your um, body temperature um, a little bit in control. Kapu yang motor ini wakat agak banget. Just want to get back into the length. I'm five foot eight and I'm very very lanky, I'm like that Kenyan build with a short torso and uh, long limbs. But look, uh, the sleeves are quite a little longer for my liking, and the Italian band uh, feels a little warm. Bear in mind that I'm nitpicking here. I'm trying to find fault of very good product, so uh, it's not really much of a big deal. But it might be worth noting. Almost at the peak of Manipi or Camposhete feeling breezy on this jersey it's really comfortable uh, as I said it's a little abrasive or sharp on the skin but that's a very minimal issue I think the cloth will soften out if you wash them and over time it will be a little softer on the skin but as I said if you're climbing this will be a go-to jersey especially if it's like those steep climbs wherein you're going really really slow and then there's almost no breeze this jersey uh, vents out heat from your body really really well and catches a cool breeze uh, so uh, it's very good for uh, body temperature or regulating body temperature a little bit of land side to navigate up here um, I just finished descending man-made forest and um, you might want to consider wearing a base layer if you're wearing this jersey on a maybe a rainy day or a cool day because uh, you're getting a lot of breeze and you'll easily feel cold on the downhills which is a good thing because uh, Philippines is generally uh, a warm country so uh, just like now feeling really really cool in this jersey all right so just finished reviewing Velo Siete Cartel jersey so far it's good King Lim approved so a uh, big kudos to Jun Bastida and James Pagay for this creation Alright, so it's 10.30 in the morning, it's a little gloomy, so we're provided with a constant weather for the three reviews. So this is ride number three, I'm wearing Urban Athletica. As you can see, the kit is dope, it fits really, really well. And out of the three, uh, right out of the box, or right out of the plastic, this one feels most delicate. It's the most premium feel out of the three because um, it's just soft on your skin. It really, really is good. Um, they have aero sleeves which I'm not a fan of but we're gonna review this because they said that this one is more breathable than uh, all the other um, aero sleeves so we'll, we'll see about that 
but all in all i just really like the feel uh it's, it feels something that you would get out from rafa or black sheep cycling or maap or any premium brands maybe the build quality isn't that good but it's pretty pretty close but in terms of feel this feels really premium feels delicate uh, the only downside is that it doesn't feel like it's an everyday jersey because it's gonna get worn out pretty easily but uh it's really really good Huh? Na lang. Ilingaw. Nindot akong jersey di. Nindot. Tarong ba? Tarong ba? Oy, Charles. 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 <laughs> Tensa si Bus Pagay mo hang sponsor. Ano man kanya tagaya to gilusibin nga sinina. Uy, mano gutaw na gud. Si size nimo. Double extra small. Bus. Double extra small kuno. Apil ni lang bugo. Mana mo pani ug to? Inya lagi si Bus Pagay lagi librehon mo skuan. Finish line ba? Bisag burger lang kada ride good para ganahan sa taong training ba? Di ba? Uy boss! Ko burger ka naman! Ha? No, ingon si Israel! Taya ba tabo sa duha eh? Hahaha! Ay, lumiyas di guwan! Alright, so uh, it turned out to be a very hot and humid day. It's February, so the wind is a little bit cooler than usual, but it was a good test for the jersey. Overall, it's very, very comfortable, even with this heat. As I've said earlier, the textile or the material itself is very, very soft, so um, <clears throat> it, it helps with the comfort. Um, the only problem I kind of saw is that this area right here is very, very tight, so uh, trying to put them on you might want to like secure it really really well and before you zip up the zipper because uh, it's a good recipe for busting up the zipper if you want to pee there's no way of like pulling this up and then peeing you're gonna have to unzip it because uh, so that it's very very tight but uh, outside of that it's very very nice the aero sleeves i'm glad to report that it's not warm well the velocity cartel is a little bit cooler but i think i would prefer this one just because it's shorter even though this this one isn't as breathable but it exposes areas of my arm more as i've said it feels really really premium it's soft on your skin it's something i would wear on a long hot long ride and as i've mentioned earlier the fabric is a little bit delicate so uh, this might wear out faster than the other two but considering the price i mean it's a value for money um, you know if you want to have like a really really comfy jersey 
uh, this is uh, this is the one other owners of this jersey find that the big neck hole is uh, is a problem for them because as soon as the pace gets going kind of catches air for them but that wasn't an issue for me we went out riding very fast with uh, Israel Go and his friend earlier and it wasn't a problem at all it was secure I didn't feel any flapping so that wasn't a problem for me maybe it's a problem for the bigger sizes I wear an XS so uh, yeah overall it's great Alright, so we're uh, here in Tapul. Um, I just did a hill repeat with my student Lance. And earlier it was raining, so we kind of had a chance to test this jersey in the drizzle. It was nice, it was comfortably warm. Now it's the sun is out. And uh, I'm gonna do five more repeats of this climb. And uh, I'll tell you more about the jersey when I'm finished. But so far, it feels really really great it feels like uh, the Velo Siete Cartel uh, 2.0 I say that because uh, it feels like the Velo Siete Cartel with the improvements that I would do if I was Velo Siete so it has now a shorter sleeve the waistline is just about right the back pocket is stretchable so I can actually put things and uh, it has uh, grippers on the waistline as well so it doesn't scoot up Everything's good though, the fit is nice. It still has the, that the same abrasive feel of the Velociete. But just because of those very little adjustments, it made the jersey much, much better. Alright, so uh, we're done with the pool hill repeats. We have a very nice um, short section here, about 800 meters in the pool. <sighs> Shaded, covered with trees, 10% um, grade average. And um, <clears throat> the, as you can see, uh, the asphalt is uh, very smooth. Relatively, it's less crowded than many pieces as well. So uh, I can vlog and not worry about motorcycle noise. But anyhow, the uh, CSAS jersey or whatever they'll brand their uh, cycling jerseys with um, it's super nice as I've said earlier it feels like a Velo 7 Cartel 2.0 <sighs> give me a sec let me shift it's too hard of a gear yeah as I've said it's Velo 7 2.0 it's everything I would want to be adjusted with Velo 7 uh, shorter sleeves the waistline is shorter as well because it has shorter zippers doesn't have a covering on the neck I like it colorless they call it uh, so it doesn't choke me overall very very good fit even though I was riding at around 10 kilometers per hour on this hill on the steeper sections there in the pool as well it feels 
uh, relatively comfortable and on the downhill it catches a lot of breeze so you, your uh, core temperature goes down right away so yeah big thanks to Ian for sending this jersey I'm very very impressed this is one of their very first product and they they were brave enough to bang with the big boys and I told them that send me your best jersey I'll do a review and then they were kind of game so they were kind of confident with their product and uh, rightfully so this is a very good jersey good job all right so uh, I'm gonna have to make this quick because this vlog is a little too long already uh, but first off I want to send thank you to Nino to Charles to June and to Ian for sending out their products for reviews and um, it's easy to say that I might be biased because I have previously worked with Urban Athletica before but um, I do take note that all four of them are my friends uh, Charles as I've said as I, I've worked before with Urban Athletica and is my student Nino has supported my triathlon career since day one Ian is my classmate in college and we are schoolmates in um, in boys high before June was my triathlon student or trainee before we, we did Taiwan KOM together so um, all four of them are my friends and I told them that I'm just gonna do an unbiased review of their products uh, without further ado here it is so uh, with the salt plus fin uh, this jersey has the best fit of all the four um, because the fabric just stretches in all direction and you know this is a size 18 which I'm all extra small on the other three um, but it really really hugs your body uh, very very well the fit is great so this uh, this is the latest iteration of what salt plus fin offers um, overall it's a very good jersey it's very breathable it's a very um, it feels like it's very well made as well this is something that I would purchase if I want a jersey that I you know I can abuse uh, I'll just wear and wash and wear again this is it because it's uh, it's really well built excellent product by uh, Salt Plus Fin um, worth the hurt Velo Siate Cartel uh, this is one of the thinnest jerseys out of the three um, it sort of is like uh, something like this a base layer it's very very thin it's made for climbing mountains so it's very very breathable as you can see it's almost see-through so uh, this is something you wouldn't want to wear on a very hot long ride because it's gonna bake your back but if you're into climbing mountains this is jersey um, only problem is that this sleeve is way too long it's, uh, with this uh, Italian band on the sleeves it makes uh, it's a little difficult to put on as well um, the length of the jersey it actually reaches below my ass so it's kinda way too long um, bear in mind this is an extra small and I'm 5 foot 8 so uh, I'm on the tall side of people who wear extra small and uh, it just the dimensions of this one is a little whack but overall it's a very comfortable jersey it serves the purpose of um, being comfortable while climbing my favorite it's the urban athletica so as i've mentioned earlier this is the most comfortable out of the out of the four uh, because uh, just the cloth or the material itself is very plush it feels very very premium on your skin uh, when you wear it it's, it's it's just like having a treat for yourself this is the one i would pick on a very long ride because this is the most comfortable of them all um only drawback i can find is that it might be too delicate because of just of the softness of the material and the plushness of the material this might not last as long as um this one this two salt plus fin and uh, urban athletica is um very close it's very close in terms of the fit but this one just wins in comfort because it's it's a little uh, thinner and it just feels softer in your skin this one though is very durable so whichever is your choice you want something to um, to abuse or you want something for a, you know a reward for yourself um, these products are very um, the next one is uh, this one the rebel kid csas i still think that they should come up with a moniker or a name for their product um, overall this is velociate 2.0 because the sleeves is the same but it's just right the length is just right 
uh, the length of the jersey itself is just right it's on waist level um, it's colorless so depending on your uh, taste I like jerseys without a color because it kind of chokes me this one is colorless so I like it as well um, I asked them to make a jersey for me they actually create jerseys that look like this but they decided to print out pornography movies of the 80s into my jersey which is a little bit nostalgic if I want to look different in the peloton this is the jersey to go for the difference another difference with the Velociete is that they have a different textile for the pockets which stretches so you can put more compared to the Velociete locally made locally made I'm very very impressed because this product is you know one of the first batches that they make and then they almost made everything right um, so uh, another advantage of the Velociete is that they have a very better um, grippers on the waist and they have a wide garter in the front compared to a compared to a very flimsy Italian band on the Velociete cartel unfortunately for the Velociete cartel this became my least favorite just because it didn't fit me right but but newsflash the people behind Velociete will soon be ordering their jerseys from a local maker I wouldn't tell who yet but Velociete will be locally made soon and they will use the feedback that they got from this and use it for their ne next product so expect it to be better and I also want to point out that whichever you buy from this four is a value for money I'm just nitpicking here I'm just trying to judge four really good products and I'm just you know going with my own preference on any day I could pick any of these jerseys for a ride for a very long ride I usually pick um, the Urban Atletica because it's comfortable if it's raining a little bit and if, if, if I need a little warmth then this is the jersey I'll go for because it's a little thicker if I'm feeling wild I'm gonna go for this we'll soon find out on the next Velociete and what improvements that they can make shout